Welcome back everybody. We are going to work today. I'm trying to get both of these steering clutch shafts out. We have a few different methods we're going to try. First things first, we need to clean the shaft so we can get it ready to come out of this bore. So over here on the track we have two pulling plates, they'll just get stacked together and then several different size sleeves. I welded a smaller pipe inside so that these sleeves can't jump off center just to kind of keep everything in line. And over here we just have a bunch of half inch threaded rod. We'll give it a go, see if that shaft wants to move. So just to show how this puller is intended to work. We've got the threaded rod, threaded in there as far as it will go. Next we'll take this two inch sleeve, both of these plates, put that over there. That should all align on that hole where my thumb is. Should give us plenty of clearance. That pipe is quite oversized. We'll bring a nut down here. And this will be the nut that draws it all out. And I actually, I'm gonna put some washers in there. I'll leave that about there. Just put a little oil on there, Just some 30 weight oil. Make sure all this stays square here. And we're ready to put some tension on it. It is moving. So I'm gonna just put a little light coating of that same 30 white oil on here just as a lubricant to come through here. I know everyone's gonna say, put penetrating oil there. It doesn't matter as long as you have some sort of a lubricant in here, it'll be all right. One thing to keep in mind while we're doing this, the farther this shaft comes this way, theoretically, the easier it should move. That is a blind hole down there, meaning it is not a through hole, so that just goes into that pocket or into that blind hole so as we bring it out there's less and less material contacting in that blind hole it should get easier well we had our first casualty this is cheaper dreaded rod this isn't grade eight or anything of that nature. So I'm not really surprised, and that's why I brought more than one, just for this purpose. So we'll get another one threaded in there. New threaded rod, new nut. Let me show you up on this end, kind of what we're looking like. It is moving. I might have to see if I can get this lever and that back. So we're gonna start contacting this differential housing right down in there. So let's see if we can get some of that stuff to move. I pulled that cotter pin the last episode along with that one. So we will just have to see about moving that back. But we are moving. Well, not quite as I intended. That brass collar here is still not wanting to move because of that needle bearing. But just for now, that will clear the housing. 
So I think we're just gonna keep pulling it, see how far we can get. Making some progress. It's taking a little bit. Um, I'll edit it down, but that last segment that you'll watch in high speed was about five minutes long worth of turning a wrench. Um, as you can see, we're starting to pull that crooked just a little bit. If you look on that needle bearing, it's not quite straight. We need to tap that back again. That's starting to get caught on that housing. We're getting there. And then once we get up to here, we'll start slowly cleaning that shaft so everything can migrate off it. Work it a little bit, clean a little farther. It's just not ideal to try and clean right around that axle. If I can get it up into this pocket here, we should be a little better off. Kind of right where that bar's sitting. We'll keep going. Well, you guys saw it and I missed it. That washer fell off of there. That shaft is completely out of there. And that was in real time. Just gonna run some emery cloth over this quick. Knock down that high rust and then we'll oil the rest of that shaft up before we pull it through the rest of the way. It's moving really, really easy now. I can tell on the threaded rod, you know, the wrench isn't pulling very hard. I just don't want to hit a hard spot again. Like I said, we'll just clean it, oil it, out it comes. Shoot a little brake clean in there just to kind of get that dust off of there. Any of that rust dust from the emery cloth. We'll let that evaporate. Put some 30 weight on it. Hopefully pull the rest of the shaft out. So just to show you the progress we're making. Shaft is out. That's what we started with. Making quite a bit of progress here. Uh, reason I have the other one off is I figured for how easy the shaft's moving, I'm just gonna switch to this six inch pipe. And I know some of you are gonna ask, well, why don't you just start with that one? The reason is this threaded rod isn't terribly strong. So to give it the best chances, I figured a shorter piece will hold up better shorter piece of threaded rod would hold up better just to kind of get everything moving and then we can always switch these pipes out so we'll get this six inch one on here and we'll keep pulling all right shaft is oiled up Let's see if we can get this shaft out far enough to actually drop that arm starting to get a little tight again. I believe it's because of this arm. Try and get that off of there. 
actually wants to move fairly well now, which is good. We'll have to knock this back as well. Let's continue pulling. Much, much easier. I think there's just a little bit of pressure on that front bearing. Wasn't allowing that to move. All right, we're out far enough to have this arm out. So we will lay these in order. So they go back in the way that they came out. See if that needle bearing Yep, keep that with that same arm. And now I'll try and drive that brass oiler off of there. All right, I saved you guys watching me tap this all the way down to the end of the shaft here for the last five minutes. But there it is. And last but not least, we need to keep pulling this shaft out. We are very close. This threaded rod moves very easily. You can tell it's still a little, oh, there it went. Spin that whole shaft, guys. I think we're home free. Let's see if we can just pull it by hand. All right, guys, I was able to get it moving by hand here. So we're just going to pull it out the rest of the way. Straight on the end here, you need to clean up just a little bit of surface rust. And I'll be able to pull it all the way out. All right, with it all clean, I just shot some brake clean on there to clean that um, dust off of there. We'll pull it out. Well guys, I'm going to go through and repeat the process on the other side. I really don't know if you guys all want to see it twice. I can record it. But I think for this episode, we're going to call that a wrap. Appreciate everyone watching. If you like what you see, throw a like, subscribe. We still have a long ways to go with this. See you guys in the next one.